All right, guys, welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. Time now for our next segment. I'm here with my guests. I have in studio with me Brian, who's an actor at the far end, Karibu Sana, and also Winnie yeah. Adisa, who's the creator or and director yes. of Susan's Diary and Martin's Chronicles, which is a drama series. And before we dive too far into it, actually, let's just take a look at this trailer we have for you right now. Take a look. If there was ever a stupid person on this earth, it's me. I wanted something magical. Who was that? In the middle of the store. But really. It's just a test. Yeah, so you think I'm dumb. Kid. Kid. <laughs> Have you ever done something that you thought was appropriate and then you found out it actually was not? Some of the places that you've been taking me are just getting worse and worse. You duped me, asshole. I don't like being played for a fool. I'm woman enough to take it. Atama post za celebrities yezi like sai. Tabaki tuna machali kwa timeline. All right, so uh pretty intriguing. <laughs> That there was the trailer um, for Susan Starry and Martin's Chronicles, uh, which is a drama series. So this is a two-in-one. Yeah, it's a two-in-one drama series that uh, talks about the different dramas in relationships. So given the male and the female perspective when it comes to uh, relationships, because sometimes we tell stories on one side, mm -hmm. but then I decided to just tell the story differently. Okay. Yes. Okay. But addressing relationships. Right. Yes. Which clearly, I think in this country, <laughs> as conservative <laughs> as we are, yeah. I think externally, relationships is, is such a huge uh, pain point for a lot of people. Even, even on this <laughs> show, we have a segment where we deal with just relationships and it, it gets pretty intense. Yes, it uh, is. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, what were some of the things, that, the topics you wanted to, to address going into the filmmaking. I mean, the the whole the whole concept about it it starts basically with with Susan and uh, uh, <laughs> Susan and Martin who meet on the very first day okay. and they have a one night stand and from there it shows we delve into how that one night stand affects their relationships. Right. Now, when they go into the relationships, they they are more uh, for Susan as a girl, she's more aware. And she has these questions. She's not keeping quiet. And also we, we see the male perspective. And one of the things that we wanted to basically what we are talking about is communication. Because right. some of this drama, when you come to realize by the end of the day, it's just communication. Someone did not communicate. You don't know what this other person right. is, is feeling. Right. Yeah. But doesn't a lot of it also start with the fact that there are these one night stands that are so casual and people treat their, I mean, we treat each other so casually, but then you want a very like solid relationship and it's it, it's such a juxtaposition at the same time mm -hmm. but eric you i mean not eric <laughs> your character is it's eric <laughs> but you are brian yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> tell me about your character um in in the drama yeah i i tend to think of uh so i play eric i tend to think of him as i think the guy who was in the right place uh perhaps at the wrong time okay you know uh he's kind of a bit of a pushover he I think he's kind of like Susan's uh, rebound after Martin's debacle. Oh dear. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, you see, the, I got slapped in the trailer there. And he bears <laughs> it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not the very, he's not the most attentive of boyfriends. Okay. And uh, we're having this discussion with uh, uh, the other day with the team. You know, um, there are many guys like that. You know, they just do the bare minimum in relationships. You know, right. and and yeah, 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 it's just. Well, well, I'm glad it comes <laughs> from you. <laughs> I'm glad you're the one who said it. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. As a male yourself, mm -hmm. that there are some guys who do do the bare minimum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And maybe we can talk about that and explore it a bit. Because, I mean, 
you know, we, we've discussed relationships, I think, in almost every dimension here mm-hmm. on this show. Mm-hmm. And by this point, like, there are things that I think, hopefully, yeah. our audience has learned, like, that is just a no-no. Yeah. Um, but talk to me about that, you yeah, know, yeah. this whole idea of bare minimum in a relationship. Y- you know, Yet, you know, you know yeah. ladies are craving guys yeah. to kind of lead. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I feel even the this, the simple aspect of when you're dating, uh, when you're dating exclusively, you're not really supposed to like flirt with other uh, ladies. You think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> I think we're finally figuring that out as men, you know. But, but um, that's what Eric kind of does. He just flirts with, you know, like he talks to his ex on the phone. Like he didn't even try to hide. He's just there across the room, you know. Oh. And so then, that's <laughs> yeah. and then by that, that's how now we we show the female side of you. Yeah. How, how how it affects us mm. i mean by you flirting with this other woman yeah. uh how 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 it affects us emotionally mm-hmm. and even mentally and psychologically and sometimes that's why some women behave the way they behave and yeah. sometimes even the men behave the way they they hey, do behave hey, because we now <laughs> we are showing the two sides <laughs> of the coin okay yeah yeah <laughs> yes. and also there's the thing of uh you know when you're dating um I think there's there's a natural inclination to like stop going on dates, you know, like so that was Eric's like big blunder, you know. So you know, we're always staying in the house, and we, we never go out no more. We don't dress up, you know. Yeah. We don't we don't hit the the night out, you know. Okay. Yeah, it's just you know bare minimum. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, it, it's sad that I, as much as these are, it's a drama series. Mm-hmm. It's really it's a very clear reflection of of society today yes. mm-hmm. and the way uh, relationships are conducted. Um, uh, but maybe we can just jump now to actually just the process of putting this together. Tell me about the cast and how you went about selecting them. Oh well, uh, it was because we have. Um, it's a roller coaster of, of emotions. There's anger, there's, there's a lot of, there's anger, there's happiness. So a lot of emotions. So I wanted actors who have this, who'd bring out this emotive um, characters that are relatable. So it was a bit challenging, but then now you tend to work with people that you have worked with before because you know their, what, what they can deliver and mm. their capabilities. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. because we had a lot of, uh, bedroom scenes, right, and also crying. I, he and he like jealousy. his body like yeah. totally yeah. died yeah. walking yeah. like <laughs> when you said bedroom scenes. <laughs> I know those are, the, those are my best scenes. Oh, yeah. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> so again, you want to work with people again who who will be comfortable because by the end of the day, we we had a closed a closed a closed door set, yeah. and you have to make these actors and also ask the crew members to be as comfortable as possible because trust me it's not comfortable sure. shooting those scenes sure mm. i mean question of course we've, we've seen our film industry really transition and i think part of the questions that a lot of people have including the ones older than us mm. um have is is how have we become so comfortable or to, uh, comfortable to an extent of actually portraying this you know on screen mm. because as we said it's a very conservative culture still mm. in Kenya but mm. relationships are just that ca- thorn in the flesh um, so how do you guys ensure that you've actually drawn some sort of line so that you don't glamorize mm-hmm. do you know there's a way that you can actually drama um, glamorize uh, some of the different challenges and things that we experience in relationships mm-hmm. and then almost compromise you know the overall message because you sound very clear that you want people to walk away saying we need to actually assess how we go into relationships mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so as an actor mm-hmm. you know when you really have to deliver a scene this bedroom scene or whatever it is how do you kind of um how do you how do you address that tension for yourself so so like you're saying like tension between being the actor or just tension in general tension for playing with the, the fact that you need to portray a role mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but you have to be careful that it doesn't glamorize the issue as well oh, oh okay well yeah. be, uh, having the director on set obviously helped a lot you know <laughs> 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 she <laughs> she tells you like that's too much you know you know just <laughs> yeah you have to control yeah, because yeah. you know by the end of yeah, the day you yeah. know it's going on tell you and <laughs> yeah. you want t- um presentable and tasteful scenes right. yeah. so you don't want to go overboard again mm-hmm. yeah then you get into trouble yeah mm-hmm. and again uh with such stories why 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 probably you're asking why such scenes and not being conservative because we decided to talk to say the real stories mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because when you talk about relationships there's no way you can ab- avoid bedroom scenes yeah mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. we wanted to 
bring uh, something that when someone watches, they'd go like, ah, yeah, baby, mm -hmm. this is, it's relatable. Yeah. It's real. Yeah. 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 Sorry, Absolutely. I cut you short. No, 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 it's fine. That's, that's, a, that's a very good point. And also, um, also from the, like, the point of view of, like, the society, I mean, um, I mean, even even if you look at the people who are gonna consume this show, mm -hmm. it's 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 mostly in line with Kenya's demographics. You know, sure. most most people are like below like twenty five yeah. years of age. Yeah. You know, uh, these things happen. You know, yeah. especially Gen Z members. You know, yes, their yes. dating scene is is chaotic. It's all over the place. You know, so trust me, I know. Yeah. I, I get the SMSs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, I know. It's quite messy. Yeah. Very messy. Yeah. It's something they identify with and. Uh, um, yeah, it's 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 always good to stray a little bit out of the norm. Okay. Uh, the norm here being, you know, you, you know, you, even you can't really show a kiss in really like local TV. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we just said it. Let's just, you know, break that barrier. We go all out, yo. Okay. Yeah. So how how is that experience for you? I mean, you seem very comfortable with yeah. it. So hopefully <laughs> Eric is not your real life character. <laughs> you're, seeming, you're seeming a little too comfortable here, I Brian. Know. A I'm little comfortable too cause, comfortable. Because I'm single. I have, I have no one <laughs> texting me like... You yeah. understand why I casted him. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I, I can kiss anyone on set right now. No one's going to send me an angry text and stuff. Well, she has... Do you have a ring on? I have a ring <laughs> on. So I don't know who you're going to be kissing on set here. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> and that's the thing. And, and, and that's the thing, Joyce. Because uh, uh, you're bringing two people from different worlds. Some right. of them are in relationships. But then you have to tell the story. Right. And make it comfortable for them. Yeah. So... No, but he sounds like he was on his own personal exactly. mission oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> with <Exactly>. your paycheck <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> but yeah. is this i mean have you played roles like this before no nah, i haven't i haven't uh i've been slapped before around the sets you know <laughs> okay <laughs> but i haven't had like really um mm, no nah, deep into intimate scenes like i've had on season's diary okay. matters chronicles okay no it's a first for me and i enjoyed it okay it, it's something we need to be comf more comfortable around because it's going to happen eventually right. more and more on our screens so <laughs> I mean, do your parents, uh, I'm assuming your family, you mm. know, are, obviously they know you're, you're an actor. Yeah. Is this something you'd be comfortable with them watching? Yeah, they don't care. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they absolutely have no problem okay. with anything okay. they, they see on screen. You know, it's wow. this work, yeah? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, wow. I, I feel, I have, I'm actually impressed by uh, the degree to which they understand. Yeah. yeah. You know, I was expecting a bit of like, uh, you know, you know, like, oh, why are you doing this? You know, why are you embarrassing us? You know, yeah. but none of that. They're actually pretty supportive. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm very thankful. Okay. Yeah. So Susan's diary, uh, it's Susan's diary. Yes. Yes. Definitely um, showing us, you know, just her roller coaster of emotions having gone yes. through her different challenges. So she was in a relationship, then rebounds mm -hmm. and whatnot. So tell us a bit about Martin's Chronicles then. What's that one about? Uh, Martin, uh, Martin is in a comfortable, has in a comfortable relationship has a live-in girlfriend but then it reaches a point where like ah you know what let me go outside and look for some fun and then now that's the time now because he's not having fun in his house he gets comfortable it's been three years he just wants some excitement <laughs> <laughs> wait I need yeah, no 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 I know. <laughs> no i need to talk about this because we again on this show we, we have this psychologists that usually come on the mm -hmm. show and yeah. this idea of living together and moving in before you know, a commitment has been made is such a huge topic. Mm. And I think from their psychological practicing experience, they've seen that it actually leads to a lot of different issues. So it's, it's and what you're saying is very true because that's exactly where a lot of women find themselves. Exactly. That here you are, you had sort of played wife duties when you, you hadn't even been defined as girlfriend. You exactly. were just in a situationship, <laughs> right? So... Um, <laughs> what is happening on the relationship scene that, and, and I want you to answer this as well, mm -hmm. you know, um, is this something that you guys kind of are really hoping would be addressed? Like is part of the drama saying, don't just move in with somebody or what exactly no, do you think would be the way to address that? No, we just want to tell people, you know, sometimes, like I said, by, by the end of the day, it's just communication. You can end up saving a somewhat, you know, a, a premature, a, 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 a relationship that is dying. And probably um, the thing that was lacking was just communication or better still know when to, to, to say when it's no 
well, uh, better still to say when to walk out. Okay. I don't know, I've fumbled on my words. Yeah, mm. yes. And mm. maybe you can, I don't know if you understand what she's mm. saying by communication. Maybe yeah. you can try and explain that point uh, a little further okay. and yeah. also give us your perspective as well. Yeah, I mean, um, I, f I feel we, in society, we just feel to readdress the need for dating. You know, like, like I feel oh, yeah. a lot of people just date for the sake mm -hmm. of being in a relationship, you know. If, There's if, a lot of pressure, yeah. Yeah, if it's not adding value to to yourself, I mean, why why are you in it, you know? Yeah. And I think the show, from that point of view, it's advocating for honesty. There's a lot of arguments. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of fights. There's a lot of, um, like, going to your best friend to vent and stuff, you know? I... Like the boy, he goes I'm, to the bar to yeah, talk I to know, his friend. Yeah, I know, I know. I know. Like they're always in the bar chilling, complaining. I'm like, I've been single for like four years. I've been the happiest years of my life, you know. Okay. So people need to realize, if you're dating someone, they gotta be like, really like, a good person like for you, for your personality. Yeah. Otherwise. You're just gonna be and it's all more the time. than personality, yeah. isn't it? I yeah. think that what you're saying, just by virtue of what you've explained to us about the drama, it's mm -hmm. clearly more than just personality. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It has to be about the values that you two hold. Yeah. Because if you're going to say that you've been living together, then in three years you're like, "Hey, I'm bored. I'm just gonna step out of the relationship." It, it's yeah. actually a, tr yeah. a true story. This mm -hmm. story, it's it, the the whole Susan's Diary, Martin's Chronicles, is based on a true story where mm -hmm. you know I was dating this guy for like three years. Is it Not your really. story? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> because someone here was asking. Is it inspired? Caroline Camunto was asking if, if it was inspired by some experience. Oh dear. Oh, well, well, I should give you a tissue. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's, it's many years over back. Over it, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, I'm over it. So here I was in a relationship. You've dated someone for three years. And then, uh, oh. you, you know, you have butterflies in the stomach. Mm. Your knees weaken when he comes in. And everyone tells, that you're the, everyone tells you you're the it couple. And you see, you even... Uh, inherit his second name that you do not like that bad name that you <laughs> say I'm going to be Mrs. So and so yeah but then you're like ah because of the love I will just take it were you Fast married forward. no we're just dating oh girl then, that was the first mistake I know. <laughs> not be inheriting his name you know the way you no you know the way no I'm saying in your in head in your head you're, okay. in your head you're like ah when I get married ah it's okay I'll settle for that second I see. name I you see. know we'll have this beautiful kids we'll have this life fast forward the guy just ghosted me and he disappeared and you wondered oh, no. what just happened <laughs> and you know here you are in your 30s <laughs> wow here, here you are in your 30s you're wondering <laughs> yeah how do i move to the next relationship without knowing yeah. what happened so okay. that got me thinking how can you two people be mm -hmm. in love but be in different headspace sure very and important that's why point. Yeah. hence the susan's diary martin's chronicles mm -hmm. gotcha. perspective mm -hmm. Got you. Well, it sounds very interesting. Thank you both for coming on to the show today. Thank you. And uh, just, again, relationships, uh, you know, it's complicated. It takes work. I think it's, uh, whoever uh, told us it's supposed to be a, a walk in the park, the it, ride, it huh? definitely lied. <laughs> but uh, how can people uh, get to watch this then? It's going to be on Vumi Central. That's an online platform. Watch.vumicentral.com okay. for only 500 shillings. For 500 shillings. Mm -hmm. And how long is it? It's, it's one and a half hours. It's a show you can binge on. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yes. Well, thank you both so much for coming on to the show. Really do appreciate you. And you uh, so congratulations again. Us. And uh, hopefully we'll uh, be hearing about guys' experience watching this film or this yeah. drama series. Yeah. Awesome. With that said, guys, uh, finally someone here says Susan's diaries and a uh, Diary and Martin's Chronicles looks dope. I love that Kenyan content is becoming more real and relatable. Kudos to Winnie and uh, the team. And they say, I love it. All right. Well, guys, uh, it is 8.58 a.m. I need to take a break as we get ready for the second hour of the show. Still coming up next, we, of course, have a cooking segment for you. Today, we're going to be showing you how to prepare Eggs Benedict. We're also going to be meeting a 15-year-old violinist and also talking to uh, change makers during COVID-19. We'll be meeting the Saidia Moja Foundation. Uh, 111 triple 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 one is the SMS line, and I'll be back after this.